Hi there, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I wanted to do a video today about a very, very simplistic methodology for uh, job hunting that I've been using recently and that's a keyboard macro tool. Now I've actually been using this system for a number of years now. I use it for freelancing, for finding new clients, business development activities, all that good stuff. This works so well and it's so simple. And the reason I'm making this video is it's my strong belief that when you're looking for technology to support your job application process, people reach for tech that is way too complicated. Stuff like CRMs, it's probably not necessary for most job hunters, but a little macro tool like this on whatever computer you are using most of the time for your job applications can save you a ton of time and effort. And uh, that's what I want to show today in this video. Now the tool I'm using is called Auto GTK. It's a tool for Ubuntu Linux. Now, if you're like most people on this planet, you don't use Linux, uh, you can find a very, very similar tool for Windows. So don't get hung up on the, uh, the tool I'm using here. There's a Windows almost equivalent of it. And I just want to, I'll just bring you over to my screen here to show you how this works. It doesn't really get much simpler than this in terms of technology. Basically, uh, th these, this is my current setup, my current auto GTK panel. And these are uh, the phrases or the things I've currently got assigned onto my keypad. So you can see, for instance, I have my Linktree here. Linktree is a really, really useful service. It allows you to build out these like menus um, in which you can send out one link and that can have a few links. So my philosophy for uh, client acquisition and job hunting is you always want to try think of it from the other direction. If you present somebody with a big batch of URLs, that's intimidating. If you can present them with one single link and that has on the other side, again, not 20 or 30 or 40, but um, a few key links. So I'm gonna set up a new link tree for my uh, job hunting. Uh, but right now I'm just using one of my uh, personal domains to redirect that to my link tree. And uh, if I scroll down here, you can see, well, you can see I'm, uh, I'm, I'm in the bottom of, the, of this, unfortunately. I have currently attached that to um, number pad left. So what I can do now is if I just jump into a text editor here, I can just type one key, numeric number pad left, and boom, I've got my URL in one key. Now, that's essentially all the tech is. This is auto GTK. Uh, you'll find the Windows equivalent. You basically type in key phrases that you're constantly typing. Save those. That'll create a text file. Um, and then all you need to do is basically uh, click that one keypad button uh, in order to fill the template. Now, that's the technology. I want to just talk for a couple of minutes about why I think that's actually so, so useful. My philosophy or my approach for things like job hunting and uh, finding clients for my freelance business is that you always want to be as personalized as possible. Templates rarely work if you're doing stuff in batches. There's no really good substitute for a very strong and very personal cover letter that really makes clear why you're actually interested in this company and in this role. Now, that's what I think most uh, people looking for new clients and most people like me currently looking for new freelance uh, remote opportunities should be doing. Nevertheless, even if you're being totally personalized, you're going to be using uh, repeatedly the same few things, putting those same few things into emails, like your personal website, your email address. If you're involved in uh, writing or a creative field, you're probably putting in a link to your portfolio. And um, there's one other reason why I think having these as hotkeys is useful. That's because uh, when humans do things repeatedly, like type in the same URL 20 times per day, there is a tendency for human error to be introduced and you really don't want to have a typo there. So what you want to do uh, is be able to open up an email and have a, a completely fresh screen in front of you, but you can press those couple of buttons in order to enter uh, your, your information. Now what you can put up there, uh, you can see I have, a, I have a couple of pitches in my keypad. Um, I have my LinkedIn there. I have my business phone number. I have my business URL. I have all my key links. Uh, I can build this out to three or four times the size uh, very easily, depending on how actively I'm using it. 
um, and you can combine stuff like the control button, the shift button, all the other buttons to basically have a lot of shortcuts. And um, again, this is just the connection for job hunting or freelance hunting is in my experience, you want to also think about where the people, your target audience are hanging out. Uh, it might be in a WhatsApp group, it might be in a LinkedIn. And the beauty of this system, as opposed to let's say, uh, using a CRM and uh, let's say you're using HubSpot, which you could do for job hunting and create a few snippets. The downside of that system is that HubSpot's sending out stuff by email. If you just have these things literally at the very lowest level of technology, uh, assignments onto your keyboard, you can use them in any application that takes a text input, whether that's a LinkedIn a direct message exchange or a WhatsApp group or a conventional uh, you know, uh, job application website to save yourself filling out those job applications, have all your crucial things mapped out as macros. It'll save you a ton of time, it'll save you a ton of effort, and by saving you both of those things, you'll be able to devote more attention to writing more effective and better cover letters. I hope this video was useful. Uh, in summary, use a hotkey keyboard macro manager if you're job hunting and put all your things up there. I think it's one of the great uses for this tech uh, that is underused uh, and people, people create much more elaborate systems when something like this is, can be really, really effective. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more videos about technology, Linux, Ubuntu, backups and all these topics, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.